Hi, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and on this channel we talk about faith, culture, and media. And I wanted to let you know I do have a brand new book called Breaking New Ground, Discipleship Using New Media. So if you haven't heard about that, um, it's on Amazon and it's all about evangelization using um, digital media. And today, uh, oh, if you, haven't, <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, click the red button, the red subscribe button below and then you'll get uh, my videos when they are uploaded immediately and you can click the little there's a little bell you can click that too and then that'll you'll get a notification when um, I do upload a video so today's topic is is the five D's of the devil there's a new um, a new uh, Arshasis and Exorcist Father Vince Lampert who uh, I have heard speak many times um, on uh, the topic of the devil and evil and one of the talks he gave he gave a talk at Holy Rosary a couple years ago and one of the things he said is that as an exorcist a lot of people are very interested in the extraordinary ways that the devil tries to trip us up and then people think of you know the movie the exorcist that was I think back in the 70s and all kind of the weird things that happened in that movie but what Father Vince talks about frequently and he talked about at this particular men's retreat was the ordinary ways that the devil tries to trip us up. And that's what my topic is today. Um, the ordinary ways, the five D's of the devil. And these are the five ways that the devil tries to trip us up in just our everyday life. So the first one is distraction. And that is a really huge category really what is a distraction a distraction is anything that takes us away from what we're supposed to be doing at any given time and for instance if I'm um, in high school or college and I'm supposed to be doing my homework a distraction would be anything that takes me away from doing my homework if I um, am a mom and I have kids and I need to be attending to them cooking their meal, doing the laundry, um, being available to them, anything that takes me away from that is a distraction. And um, so there's a lot of different ways we can be distracted and it's okay to take breaks and all that. But distractions really get us off track from what we're supposed to be doing. So that's how the devil uses those to get us off track. And it could be something as simple as we get a phone call, then we end up talking to somebody and we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. So very subtle, um, very normal things that happen in, in the day. One of the big distractions is digital distractions. And you know, maybe I'm getting on my phone to read scripture or to use like a spiritual app or start the rosary and I'll see I have 10 notifications on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever and then I start looking at those and then I never get around to praying so that's a really simple way a simple distraction that you get off track and the devil uses to get you off track okay number two distortion so the devil is all about distorting the truth so we are all attracted to God's truth naturally but the devil uses a truth and twists it and gets us off track that way for instance the what's a kind of ironic I have to just give a little aside here I already did this video once but my camera stopped working ironically on the topic that I'm using about the devil I have technology difficulties which anyway that was kind of weird but in the video before that I talked that I did um, on this topic that didn't work because my camera messed up um, distortion I used the example of Adam and Eve and how the serpent tricked Eve or distorted the truth and told her that if she ate the fruit she would be like God well that was partially true um, but he didn't tell her the rest of the story so so the devil always distorts the truth and gets us thinking something um, gives us a part of the truth 
but it's not the full truth. So distortion is another way that the devil tries to get us tripped up. Discouragement. Then once we maybe buy into a lie or a distortion and sin, then the devil's right there to say, oh, look, you're a bad person, um, you know, and, and then we get into the third D, which is discouragement, and we feel discouraged because we're trying to do um, good things, trying to follow God, but then, you know, we get distracted because of distortions, and then we get discouraged. And then the fourth thing, and if you'll notice, the devil just kind of gets you on this, you know, downward spiral. The fourth um, tactic of the devil, the fourth D, is disillusionment. So when we start believing, you know, the lies of the world, the lies of the culture, we might start getting disillusioned by all these things. And that's the fourth D of the devil. And then the fifth D is despair. When we sin over and over again and we really aren't following God anymore and start believing a lot of very, very bad lies, um, it can really get us into despair. And these are just five ways that the devil will try to get us off track. And there's probably a thousand more ways. But these are five of the ways that uh, Father Vince Lampert had talked about in his talk. And if I can get a copy of that talk um, that I can link up to this short video, you could um, listen to that entire talk. He used a lot of scripture and um, I even just think about a, a one really great scripture, and I'll put the scripture below. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head, but it's the story when Jesus went into the desert and the devil tried to tempt him. And that's another really great resource to reflect on, on how um, just those various tactics that the devil tried to use on Jesus to um, get him to eat when he was fasting. So during the 40 days of Lent, so or the 40 days um, in the desert. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope this will help you to kind of stay away or be cognizant of ways that the devil might be tripping you up in your ordinary daily life. Um, I know this is something that Father Vince talks about a lot and when he gives talks about the ordinary ways that the devil tries to trip us up. Um, if you found this helpful, um, please leave a comment. Um, if you have any ideas of other topics you'd like me to cover, I'd be more than willing to um, find the research or find a resource and do the research and then bring um, some reflection on a particular topic that you, that you have of interest. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. God bless.